Hi YouTube, um, today we're gonna do a video on uh, upgrading the hard drive into uh, an HP computer. This particular one it's an HP Spectre X360 convertible model 15T-EB000. It's uh, the latest uh, version. Uh, with an Intel iCore i7 uh, 10th uh, generation GeForce uh, GTX uh, graphics card. So uh, this particular computer it came with um, uh, with a 256 uh, gigabytes uh, solid state drive, and the customer one upgraded uh, to a uh, two terabytes solid state drive. He chose to actually purchase his own uh, SSD from HP. Uh, they use uh, this computer uses a standard uh, NVMe uh, PCI Express um, a solid state drive. Um, you can find uh, uh, different sizes uh, from uh, 250 to about uh, 4 terabytes. Uh, different uh, vendors. Uh, it's uh, up to you. Uh, if you want, if you want to purchase, and probably you will purchase uh, the solid state drive uh, for yourself. Just please uh, make note of the read and write speeds <coughs> as not uh, all of them are created equal <coughs> some of them will peak out at about 1400 megabytes uh, a second uh, while a better one might go up to about 35 3600 uh, megabytes a second so you will see a slight uh, improvement uh, from one over the other ones uh, however since the customer chose to uh, buy his hard drive i'm just gonna install it inside and yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to uh, how to do it so let me just get this guy here okay so <clears throat> when you turn the computer uh, when you flip the computer upside down you'll notice that there are only two screws one on each side right here under the vents uh, so we're gonna start to remove those two screws let me see okay they should use a t5 or a t6 i'm using right now a t6 uh, screw which is actually not the best one uh, i need a t5 there we go should have uh, prepared this ahead of the video but uh, you bear with me for a second there we go t5 so let's remove this uh, two screws okay one here and one on this side right here and you'll notice you'll notice once you remove those two screws uh, this is not moving so uh, what uh, HP's are doing for quite a while they're hiding screws under this little rubber piece right there and this rubber piece right here so what we have to do is we have to remove this uh, try to remove it uh, try to remove it as slow as possible don't really pull on it too much why because it's gonna um, it's gonna enlarge when you pull on it and it might not fit properly so you will also need uh, a little glue uh, after that as chances are you won't be able to reuse this glues this glue or it might become loose if you're lucky enough uh, you might still be able to reuse it but i would say just use a double sided tape so for the strip which is on the bottom of the computer uh, screws are located only towards the end of the of the rubber so there there shouldn't be any screws anywhere around this area so we're gonna remove these two screws right here those are actually a Phillips screws so okay which are very tight Okay, one and two. Okay, and we're gonna repeat the same on the top, on the top one. 
don't know if they did anything different to this particular model if they put screws anywhere underneath but that's why I'm doing this video so you don't have to actually uh, learn on your own mistakes so I'm just gonna remove this peel it off proves to be a little bit more stubborn than the bottom one but it doesn't seem to be any kind of screws right underneath it we're gonna check the other side yep so yep there seems to be one right here but you see what happens the uh, the actual tape will stick to the frame of the computer rather than on the rubber itself so, uh, if you're seeing what i'm doing i'm trying to remove okay so now i can go under the tape again if you have a replacement tape you shouldn't worry about this as you're gonna replace it anyways but if you do not have and you wanna reuse this one you'll have to actually pull it up so here we go we have four screws one two three four screws right there so we're gonna remove these four screws. I'm just gonna loosen them, loosen them up a little bit because they're pretty tight. So we're gonna start with the one on the right. the screws being removed the bottom part of the computer should come off pretty easy so you're gonna need a pry tool something like this which you want to insert right here at the at the very edge okay and we move towards right okay so we can clearly see how the bottom Part of it is becoming loose now we're gonna move towards the top don't insert the pry tool too much inside of the computer as you might actually damage uh, the components which are located close in close proximity of the top case so maybe insert it like this much under it it's plenty enough space Okay. and that's it we're gonna lift this piece just lift it straight up and as you see here the motherboard is covered by a, uh, a little plastic uh, so I guess against uh, any kind of uh, liquid or anything else which might get spilled inside Now, uh, when you look at the motherboard, uh, you don't see anywhere something looking like this. Uh, basically, the original one would be of a greener color. It would be something like this guy. However, if we move, if we remove this cover from here, okay, just pull it towards you. You don't have to break it, you just have to slightly remove it just like that you'll notice that there is a metal a metal door right here which you're gonna put the tweezer right underneath on the corner here and we're gonna lift it up now right there under that piece there is the hard drive okay they hide it really well I guess they did that uh, to also isolate 
the heat which is generated by by it to keep it away from the rest of the components so we removed this door it's not really a door but more like a shield and there you have it that's your RAM which it cannot be upgraded because it's soldered onto the main board and that's your hard drive so we're gonna remove the screw with the hard drive it's being kept on the board lift it up just like that and then pull it towards you and there you have it you have your old hard drive we're gonna take the new hard drive uh, you're gonna notice uh, there is a little indentation in the drive that one will have to match the one on the connector just like that make sure it's all the way in when it's all the way in it will come flush with um, let me zoom here so you see right there it is flush with that notch where you uh, where you can put the screw so we're gonna put the screw in and there you have it we're gonna reattach this piece right here gonna move all these little shields which can be in on the way and we're just gonna put it it has <clears throat> make sure you pay attention that the edges of this uh, door will have to match there are some channels on the main board you will have to actually go inside of those channels so I'm gonna move this away yeah, a lot of these plastics put they don't really do anything but okay. and it's pretty hard for me to work with the camera right on top of the machine where I don't actually see what's going on here we go it's in we're gonna push it down we apply the shields okay and we're pretty much set now I want to mention that I have cloned the drive in advance uh, so if you want to start from scratch all you have to do you can go onto the Microsoft website download the, the Windows 10 ISO <clears throat> which is uh, the, the bootable um, the bootable version of the Windows you can install it onto a USB drive and you can start from scratch installing uh, installing the new version of the of the Windows don't worry about the license key the license key it's embedded into the Windows so you don't have to purchase it again or if you want you can there are a bunch of uh, applications online which will allow you to copy uh, to clone basically the content of the of the original drive into uh, the drive of your choice uh, for that you need an adapter it's something like that it connects to the USB type C uh, this one is called uh, uh, NVMe to uh, USB adapter so you'll put the drive inside uh, you download the free software uh, I'm not gonna name the software uh, as uh, that's considered uh, commercial uh, download the, the software online clone the drive and uh, then you can put it uh, inside okay now we're gonna put back the top case you start at an angle like a 45 degree angle on the hinges side make sure that's properly seated right there and then we're just gonna uh, do something like that okay make sure it clicks we're gonna reattach the screws and again my hand it's in the way okay make sure it's properly aligned Okay, 
just gives me a little bit of a trouble. Let's see what's the problem here. Okay. Yeah, push it all the way down. So for some strange reason my camera has some difficulties uh, focusing. It's lagging a little bit, maybe I'll need to change it pretty soon. But anyways, uh, is not much detail you can see here. I mean, I'm just basically reattaching some screws. That's all I'm doing. Okay. So the top one are attached. We're gonna move to the bottom one <coughs> where uh, the rubber is right here. Okay, we're gonna push the rubber piece right there. Fortunately, the glue seems strong enough to actually not be necessary to re to use uh, another adhesive strip. Okay. And uh, now we're gonna put the top one. Let's see if we're lucky enough for the top one to be strong enough to actually not require another adhesive strip. Let's see. Whatever you do, try not to touch the underside of this uh, rubber because that's where the glue is and if you touch the, the glue it will it will lose its power to be adhesive. We're gonna press it, and yes, it does. It does look like it's not needed. Another tape is not needed. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Gonna turn on the computer, see if the cloning process was successful. If not, we can try it again. Most probably, we won't have to. But uh, here we go. Once we get the, you see right there, Windows is loading, and that's about it. So that's how you change. Uh, that's how you change the hard drive. A very simple. Uh, uh, see, right there, the Windows booted up right away. Uh, it's a very, uh, very simple process. Uh, you can do at home. It takes you probably less than. 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes, minimal, minimal tools. All you need is a uh, T5 uh, screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a pry tool, and a little bit of patience. And that's that. Um, if this video, as usual, if this video helped you in any way, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, or comment. And until next time, stay safe, be well.